it's the secret sauce. If you're not using quick additive, you're you're making this way harder than it needs to be. It, it solves most of your problems. And Cody, real quick too, we talked about how there's a lot of information here and a lot of additives. You've worked with, I've worked with a few other ones, you've worked with a lot more of the other water based options. Right. They all have their kind of list of additives that are needed and a lot of them what I've seen actually have more that you have to kind of reactively use depending on the situation. There's not so many that have a one solve all just put right. it in and go like this, right. right? I mean, there are some companies that will say you don't need additives with their ink. And the reason you don't need additives with their ink is because it's ready in the ink. And that's why it tends to be a little bit pricier. So it's just a cost saving measure um, for you guys, the customers. In certain environments, they say most environments, like, again, I try to stay away from it. Um, this just because I like to I guess, think, I guess, you know, make things harder on myself, but you're gonna be more consistent if you add it pretty much in all environments. If I'm printing with, that's primarily for your high solid acrylics and your low solid acrylics. Um, the low solid acrylics are gonna dry a lot slower than your high solid acrylics because it has a higher solid content. Sometimes what we'll do is um, if we're trying to have the ink print better on the press and we don't want to add the additives, you'll add maybe 5%, maybe 10% clear to your whites to increase the printability. Um, that's basically what we're looking at right now is your 301 Eco Series. So when I say low solid acrylics, hybrids, and media, and uh, high solid acrylics, I'm talking about the 301. So you're gonna have a clear, a matte, and a white. Um, these are LSAs, low solid acrylics. These are not gonna have a lot of opacity. These are more your traditional water base, but if you're printing it on, an, on a high solid acrylic underbase or on a discharge underbase, um, these are really easy to work with. Um, we're going to be printing a job later today. We'll show you, um, we'll be using a black ink, and we're going to show you how simple that is to do, just to get your feet wet if you want to, not transition all the way from, from plastic all the water base, but if you want to, you know, get your, get your feet wet, you would use a one color job with water base as opposed to plastic salt. Stretch series, um, like the name implies, has more stretch to it. Um, it is going to be harder to work with in terms of drawing on press. Uh, it's going to have higher opacity, um, and we like to keep your stretch series at a max of 180. So for me, my stretch series is for when I'm printing on polyester, when I'm printing on spandex, lycra, um, something that's going to need to stretch. And the reason it has that stretch is, as the name implies, high solids. It has a higher solids in it. Your 301C, your 301M, and your 301W can go up to 305 mesh. But again, you're going to have less opaque inks that way. Um, the way you can get around that, like I said, is either printing a high solid as an underbase or a discharge as an underbase. Pigments, the pigment load also comes into play, um, but that's a little bit more complex, so I'll get into that uh, later on press. Yeah, one thing I will say about these series, so the 301 clear, if I'm, that stuff is so easy to use, it's silly. If you walk away and you have a little bit of dry out, you just print through the screen and it opens itself back up. Like you don't even have to wash the screen out. That stuff is, when I go to a trade show and I'm printing water-based ink all day at a trade show, I'm in the 301 because it's, you don't even have to think, it's just easy. Because those low solids, you're not having the dry out problems. Um, in fact, when I print water-based, uh, if you get the base right, you can print 301 on top of it. I do that all day, even when I'm printing on a lot of poly stuff. I'll do a blocker, I'll do a white, and then 301 wet on wet, and it stays, it's so much easier to use. So a lot of the water-based inks out there have more solids than that 301. I don't think you can, when you think of water-based and you feel like soft print, like can't feel ink on shirt, it's the 301 C. It's not very opaque, but it's embedded in the shirt. Like you can't even feel the print. I have a sample back there, it's just all 301 on white. It's beautiful and it's very high end. When you get into the stretch series, it's basically simulating a plastisol. It's sitting on top of the shirt and not in the shirt. So the more solid you have, the more hand you have. So if you're going for super, super, super soft hand, the stretches aren't your best friend. Even though they have opacity and they perform well as far as stretch goes.